Hello, in this video we are going to go over the parametric line, parametric circle and linear extrusion. Parametric line generates a line from the start point of the parametric line, which is 0, 0, 0 in this case, to the end point, which is 100. And so it will generate a line as you can see here, with length 100, you can change the endpoint. So let's say it's 100, 100, 100. Apply. And the line will update with an endpoint of 100, 100, 100. We can also change the length by changing the length property. Let's say we want the length to be 200. This will update the endpoints so that the length of the line is 200. Keep Geometry Boolean does the same job as the others by removing geometry data. The update signal is again for updating the parametric line only when the update signal is high. So. The next one we're going to look at is the parametric circle, similar to the line, but it creates a circle instead with a ra radius of 100 or 300. Boom. Not much else to say on that. Next one we're going to look at is the linear extrusion. This takes a face or a wire and extrudes it along a vector. Currently 0, 0, 100. As an example, let's make a solid by in the modeling tab, solid box will have a length of 100, width of 200, and a height of 50. And create. If we go into the view, we can see that it generates a box. So let's say we want to extrude this top face by 100 mil in the z direction using the extrusion smart component. So we can go into the properties of the linear extrusion. We want to select the face, so we go into surface selection, click in the face property box, click the face, and we already have 100 in the Z direction, and we apply and it creates an extrusion of 100 mil. If we hide part one that we created, we can see that it's a copy and it's not joined on to part one. The reason you would have the extrusion in the smart component and not just extrude it up here is so you can animate maybe. So if we go into this, add a timer and add a vector converter. We can take the current time in Z and attach the vector to projection. And then when we play the simulation, you can see that it extrudes up by the simulation time. Here I have made a wire in this shape in the same way as before, I have attached a timer to a vector converter to the projection. In the linear extrusion, I selected this wire, which is part 4, by going into a curve selection, clicking the source wire, and pressing wire. If we press play, we can see that it will extrude this wire. This can be useful if you want to simulate an extrusion. This can be useful for simulating any product that has to be extruded when it's being made. In the next video, we will cover the linear repeater, matrix repeater, and circular repeater. Thank you for watching. See you then.